So Rochdale 13 with Alan Kilshaw ahead of a trip to Batley on Sunday. Obviously you, you faced Batley last week and it was a bit of a, a heavy defeat. I just want to touch on that game, have you reviewed it further? Yeah, as we said on the day, just probably too much defending in the first half. We put a lot of pressure on ourselves and he took its toll. Um, you know, they're a big physical side and if you give them that much ball, if you give them that much ball, they're gonna, you know, um, wear you down and that's what they did and they played some nice stuff off the back of it as well so you know there's areas that we need to fix up this week and um, you know that's our focus and obviously uh, the review would have been a lot more focused on on Batley because again facing them back to back do you think that will give you an advantage facing them again oh a little bit you know we, we, we know what to expect you know they've probably got a little bit of rotation there they want to do it and you know we've got some players back as well um, but you know they don't you know change really how they play um, it's just stopping that um, there's, you know there's areas there that that we identified that we, we wanted to expose them and we didn't do that last week or we didn't do that enough um, and obviously there'll be you know those areas we'll, we'll try and get again this week and if we can uh, get our completions up um, you know, they were really low in the first half, especially in a couple of last tackle penalties as well. We'll get them completions up and, and get them penalties down this week. We've got to, we'll give ourselves a chance. Um, it'll be a difficult task. They're a different beast at home, but um, we're looking forward to the challenge. And obviously, last time you visited Batley, what an afternoon to forget, really. You led so convincingly and then some controversial calls went against you to lose that late on. Is that in your mind at all going into the game on Sunday? Oh, not at all. You know, look back over, you know, notes, and, and, and we, you know, we look at back over, you know, past performances at away grounds and how we prepared. And I thought we were very good that day, in, in how we prepared. And obviously, the, the hill gets spoken about a lot, but I thought we played, you know, well up it and down it that day. And like you say, we just we was on the back of a couple of unfortunate decisions. Um, you know, and it probably did rock us for a few weeks and uh, being so close to beating them and, and then getting beaten last minute and, and they showed their experience that day uh, but you know we're, we're a year on now um, you know more more so because before Easter that game last year and you know it's two different sides going going head to head so uh, it won't be in our thoughts um, apart from you know the positives that we've taken out of that that day you know and, and how we prepared and, and how we played um, up the hill and down the hill. And obviously you were down on bodies again at the weekend, are there any lads likely to return on Sunday? Yeah, we'll get we'll get a few back. Uh, Dave Allen will be back. You know, we really missed his experience and his work rate. You know, what Dave does a lot of that unnoticed work. Um, you know, he comes up with 30, 35 tackles a game and gets his carries in as well. And he was really missed on that right edge. So he's passed his, his test. Uh, Lewis Hatton, we're hopeful he'll pass his uh, test and he'll, he'll be available again. Someone we missed. He played really well at Dewsbury and. Earl Hurst and Rich Lepore will be back and there's a couple of others in the mix for a chance so we're starting to get bodies back now one positive we can take out of last week is um, we didn't get any injuries so um, you know, that was fortunate for us and, and, and hopefully will be the case this week and we'll, we'll have you know close to a full complement um, going into that game at the bash and I know you haven't had it much this season but when you do get a full squad is it going to be tough to find the the blend between youth and experience because those young lads performed so well at Dewsbury and then they struggled again at, uh, against Batley last week. Yeah, I think obviously they need some experience around him. I think that was, you know, evident at Dewsbury where, you know, Lee Mitchell and Gaz Middleurst were really good for those young lads. So, like you say, it's finding that balance, but, you know, we're always going to be um, consistent in, in how we pick the team. It goes off form and it goes off performance, you know, how we train in the week, how we play. and, and those guys are performing, those are guys who will select, you know, it doesn't matter who you are or, or what status you've got um, experience wise, if you're performing you'll stay in the team and you know that competition for places is, is returning, it's returning this week with, with players available, we're not just picking our 17 fit blokes this week and, and putting them out there, we, you know, we've got some blokes to leave out and you know it's a luxury we haven't had and hopefully you know, we're through the worst of that injury situation and, we, and we'll start getting bodies back and, and have a full complement to go at.